Hey, welcome back to Discovering After Effects. I'm Casey Ferris with RampantDesignTools.com. And in this lesson, we're going to learn about parenting. And I'm not talking about raising a child. That is actually much, much harder than this. However, because it's called parenting, it um, opens the door for some, some jokes. So... So parenting is basically making one layer dependent on another. So here I have two layers, the parent and the child. Actually, let's, I have a mommy and a baby, okay? Mommy's the parent, baby's the child, obviously. So in each layer, there's a little section called parent, and there's a little squiggly thing and a drop-down menu. I just have two regular layers, the mommy and the baby, okay? Those are separate layers at the moment. But if I go to my child layer and I take my parent drop down, I'm going to select parent 2, which is the mommy. So right now this layer's parent is the one above it, and I'm just going to name these because it's silly trying to say parent 75 times. That's why I called it mommy and baby, so I wouldn't have to do that and say parent, 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 parent. It's dumb. Okay, so baby's parent is mommy. So what does that mean? Who cares? That means if I select the mommy layer and I move it around, it also moves the baby layer. But if I select just the baby layer, I can move it around without moving the mommy layer. So that's pretty much the whole thing with parenting. You can move the child by itself, but if you select the parent, you move the parent and the child. So it's pretty simple. If you can get your head around it, um, it's going to help you do some really cool stuff. So what are some things we can do? Here I have a crudely drawn dinosaur character on a pretty nice background, I think. There's, there's clouds and I made these out of solids, and I have a fast blur on there because that's what cool kids do. They put fast blurs on things. It's true. So I'll just grab my dinosaur and move him. Oh, wait. And so my dinosaur is made out of little pieces that I can animate, make him chomp on things. I can move his eyeball around, anything you want to animate. So maybe I'll pre-compose him. I'm going to go to all of this, hit pre-compose, and I'll cut it dinosaur dinosaur haha <laughs> better and so now I can animate him jumping around and I don't have to worry about moving pieces of him which would be fine if I didn't want to move pieces because I actually do want to move his mouth up and down and let him look around and stuff so I'm gonna go back and let's try the same thing but let's parent some things a couple of things I won't be moving so probably spine and body and eh, in this case probably not arm I'm gonna pre-compose those and call it dino body okay so there's dino body so now I can take these remaining layers the little eye layers and the mouth and I can parent them to the dino body so now if I move the dino body I can move it around do 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 but I can also move the eye layer as well as the mouth layer and maybe he can go eat some animals or something so Dino is a lot more happy now. He can bounce across the landscape and he can also chomp things. So sweet. Reckon he has an underbite now. Nom 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 nom. So that's a great use for parenting. Another really cool thing I use parenting for a lot is to make a handle for something. So in this comp, I have three stars and they're all separate layers. I can maybe parent a couple stars to the other star and then I can move it around and move them together as a group. I could also maybe pre-compose this, but it's possible I might want to change the rotation of each star or do some crazy things later. So what I'm going to do is just make a handle. So I have just a null object that I put in the middle of these stars, and I can parent these stars to that null object. So now I can move my null, and that's a handle for this whole group of stars. But I can still adjust each star individually without much trouble. And a similar thing is making a handle for a camera. So I have a little animation here with some particles and it's a and some 3D layers and this camera flies back and these words hinge down or as I like to call it the flippy thing so they, you know, flip in. But let's take a look at this scene. I have my 3D camera but it's actually parented to my null object which is right here. And so when I change my null object I change where my camera is pointing. And this is really cool because a lot of the time you want your camera to fly around a certain point or, um, or move in a certain way. 
and it's just super hard. There's so many controls on a camera that half the time it doesn't animate quite right and it doesn't work. And so you're just kind of keeping things simple by just parenting a camera to a null object. So then you're just animating rotation and position and it's a little bit better. So all I did was parent this camera to the null and then animate the position. And another cool thing is you have a little bit more separation of the attributes here. So I can have the camera start behind the words and then fly back, but then I can even do a rotation or change kind of how my camera is facing without worrying about that main animation, that front to back animation. And if I tried that just by animating the camera, even when you're animating rotation and things that you wouldn't think would affect the position, it's keyframing the position and it just gets really messy. And so this is a really slick way to do things. And maybe I'll add some animation to this. And I'll have it whoosh down like that. And so now it's super crazy. So now I have a pretty unique camera move without very much work on my part. I also want to talk about these text layers for a second. Both the is and the fun layer are parented to the parenting layer. And so you'll notice that when this parenting layer comes in, the parenting flips forward and the is layer flips forward even more because its position is based off of where the parenting layer is. So it kind of gives the illusion that they're all attached kind of in a Jacob's Ladder type of way. So when you're working inside After Effects, especially if you're animating graphics or titles, remember that you have parenting at your disposal and you can use it to save yourself quite a bit of work and come up with something pretty awesome with just maybe a few keyframes. So I hope that makes sense to you. If there's any questions, go ahead and leave a comment on the video. Once again, I'm Casey Ferris with RampantDesignTools.com. I'll catch you next time.